Hey, what's up, everybody? Dr. Tommy Wolf. I'm Dr. Vanessa Rodriguez. And today we're going to help you out with fibromyalgia. Right, and so to break down fibromyalgia, it literally means fibro connected tissue, myalgia, muscle pain. So some of you out there dealing with fibromyalgia will have the chronic uh, pain, the pinpoint muscle tenderness, joint swelling, even some irritable bowel syndrome, headaches, brain fog, a whole list of symptoms that can really interfere with your life. Yeah, and when you go to the doctor, typically we don't know what causes right. fibromyalgia. So anytime we don't know what the, the cause of a problem is, you know, we just get right back to getting the body healthy. Exactly. And for the fibromyalgia patients that we see in our office, there's two common things we see. Mm -hmm. One, they have tension on their spinal cord. And then, then the second thing is they have systemic inflammation. Now, if, you, if your spine is out of alignment, there's ligaments that connect your spine to the spinal cord called dentate ligaments. Right. And they tug on the spinal cord and they cause spinal tethering. Now, mm -hmm. the nerves coming out of the spine, the spinal and spinal cord, they go everywhere. Right. So you can be in a highly sympathetic state, very sensitive to pain. So the best thing for that is to get an evaluation, see how your spine is moving, see where the misalignments are. If you need to, get x-rays, you know, check out, see what exactly what it looks like. Um, and you can reach out to us for that. Yeah, and you, I mean, if your spine does have that tethering, is there is, there is tension on the spinal cord, it's going to put tension on the muscles as well, which will cause the chronic pain um, on a deeper level too. So with that being said, we also have to look at the systemic inflammation because inflammation is the root of basically the majority of diseases out there. So what causes inflammation in our body um, typically is diet and toxicity. So starting with diet, you definitely want to start with eliminating any processed foods, canned foods, box foods. You want to start with the green leafy vegetables, organic preferably, so you don't have any of the pesticides and herbicides in the diet. Um, you want to get the nice lean meats that are made from the grass-fed cows or free-range chickens so you're not eating the antibiotics or the hormones. Um, also, the, the fatty acid ratio that's yeah. in the, the grain-fed beef literally causes inflammation. Exactly, and that can cause the joint swelling, the muscle pain, tenderness, things like that. Um, and you really want to flush out the toxins in your body. So if you have had um, exposure to a lot of those toxic foods in just toxic environment, drinking a lot of water to help flush that out will be good. If you guys can get your hands on alkaline water, there's um, a great company uh, called Kangen Water that has alkaline um, water that helps flush out your system and fight uh, chronic disease at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you also really want to get a good probiotic. Um, probiotic helps digestion, so not only is it going to help those irritable bowel sy symptoms you may be experiencing, but your immune system is 90% your uh, bowel. So mm -hmm. it's great Especially if you have had, uh, if you've done any sort of rounds of antibiotics. Yeah. You know, antibiotics not only kill the bad bacteria, but it kills all bacteria. The good bacteria, too. So you want to replace that with some probiotics and also a quality probiotic. Exactly. So we hope those tips helped you guys today. If you have any questions, you can uh, contact us at www.thenewhealthcc.com, and we hope to talk to you guys soon. See ya.